First step that we need to take to flash this curb is we have to terminate the membrane. So right now the EPDM is X'd out around the curb and we're, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna trim down the rubber a little bit to allow for a termination of the EPDM into the side of the curb. Today what we're gonna do is install screws and plates through the field membrane. Now that our membrane's been terminated to the curb, the next step that we have to take is we have to pre-cut and make our flashing for our curb. What we're gonna use today is our EPDM curb flashing with seam tape pre-applied. Please note that one thing that we have to add to this piece is our seam tape which will complete the vertical seam on our curb. Now that we've cleaned and primed our seam for our vertical flashing, the next step that we have to do is apply the piece of seam tape to our curb flashing. The next step we need to take in flashing this curb is going to be applying bonding adhesive to our curb as well as our flashing we made. Please note again that our bonding adhesive will go from this point right at the 90 up through the top of our nailer. We don't want to be getting any glue onto where we'll be putting our seam. Once our bonding adhesive is flashed off properly, what we've done along our flashing is we've snapped a line which indicates the top of our curb and we're, we're gonna use that line to reference to keep our flashing straight. The next thing that we have to do after we installed our flashing is we have to roll the membrane into the adhesive to ensure that we have a good bond. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna round the corners on our flashing. Now that our flashing's in place, the next thing that we have to do is we're actually gonna install the bottom parts of our flashing to the membrane. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tape primer plus, we're gonna provide a slight tack back to the bottoms of our flashing And what this does is this is gonna allow our flashing pieces, once our primer is flashed, to be held up in place so that we can easily clean our seam and apply primer to the field of our roof. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna clean our membrane and we're gonna prime to allow our flashing to be bonded to the membrane. Once our cleaner has properly flashed off, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna prime. And again, it's critical that our primer will extend beyond anything pressure sensitive that will be set into the primer. 
Now that our primer's flashed, we're ready to set our flashing. Now that our flashing has all been installed, the last step we have to take is to install our universal corners. The first thing that we have to do is even with new rubber, we are going to have to clean the rubber with our weather membrane cleaner. What JM makes are pre-made 7 inch by 9 inch universal corners. So after our, after our rubber has been cleaned, the next thing that we'll do is we'll apply primer to our flashing and fuel of our roof to allow for the installation of our corners. Again, it's critical to make sure that our primer extends well beyond where our corner will be installed. After our primer is flashed, we're now ready to install our universal corners. The last step we have to take is to install our jammed single ply lap caulk to the outside of our corners. <laughs> 